machine can sew a beautiful buttonhole in four easy steps. To do that, you'll need your fabric, of course, and your button. You'll want to get your buttonhole foot from your machine's accessories, a fabric marking pen or pencil, and a small ruler. No matter what fabric you make your buttonhole on, it's a good idea to use an interfacing or stabilizer between the fabrics, which will help keep the dense stitches of the buttonhole from puckering the fabric. To mark the fabric for your buttonhole, place the button where you want to sew the buttonhole, and use your fabric pen or pencil to draw a line at the top and bottom of your button. Use a small ruler to connect those two lines that you just drew. Next, we're going to change to the buttonhole foot. So to remove the foot that's already on the machine, put your fingers behind it and in front and just pull forward to slip it off the presser foot holder. The buttonhole foot has a bar here, it's called a presser foot pin. We're going to line up the presser foot pin with the opening at the front of the presser foot holder and then just push from front to back to snap it on. Take your needle thread or your upper thread and place it through the opening of the foot like so. To sew the buttonhole we have to select the buttonhole stitch from our stitch selector dial. On the stitch selector dial for your machine there are actually three different icons that we use for the four parts of our four-step buttonhole. I'm going to turn the dial so that number one lined up with the dot marking on the main part of my machine. When we get ready to sew the second part of the buttonhole, we'll move it to number two, which will be the bar tack at the top of the buttonhole. Then to sew down the other side of the buttonhole, we'll turn it to number three. And then to finish the bottom side of the buttonhole, we'll be back at number four. So now let's set it at number one for the first part of our buttonhole. I can see this little arrow here is pointing up that tells me that I'm going to be sewing my buttonhole from the bottom up. The next thing I need to do is to come up to the top of the machine and bring my stitch length dial somewhere in this buttonhole zone. And depending on the thread and fabric you're sewing, you can decide where you want that. If you have it a little more toward the left side of the buttonhole icon, your stitches in your buttonhole will be a little further apart. And if you have it a little more toward the right-hand side of the buttonhole icon, your stitches will be a little closer together. And then we need to come over to the stitch width dial and select a width setting. I'm going to place my fabric underneath the presser foot so the sideways line that I drew is lined up with the two red markings on both sides of the opening of the foot. And the vertical line is up the center. Place your fabric like so. presser foot once you see the sideways line lined up with those two small red lines. So with our stitch selector on number one, step on the foot control to begin sewing. When you reach the other sideways line that you drew, Stop with the needle out of the fabric, turn your stitch selector dial to number two, and sew a few stitches to sew the bar tack at the top of the buttonhole. Turn the hand wheel toward you to raise the needle out of the fabric, turn your stitch selector dial to number three, and sew down the right hand side. sew a few more stitches to sew the bottom of the buttonhole. Turn the hand wheel toward you to raise the needle out of the fabric till it's in its highest position and just begins to come down. Raise the presser foot lifter. Cut your
your threads and there's your beautiful four step buttonhole. When you finish sewing your buttonhole, place your thread tails into a hand sewing needle and bring them to the back side of the fabric and then you can tie them off to secure them. Place a pin at the end of your buttonhole before cutting the buttonhole open. This will act like a stopper when you go to cut the buttonhole open. To cut it open, use the seam ripper from your machine's accessories to the bottom of your buttonhole and push it through all the way across to cut the buttonhole open. Again, that pin at the end will help prevent you from accidentally cutting through those stitches at the top of your buttonhole. Remove the pin, and there you have a beautiful buttonhole for your button. And if you'd like more information, just check out your manual on the Singer website.